Time, we all take it for granted, yet so rarely do we share it with a stranger. So when we heard of a young veteran making time to spend with his 94-year-old neighbor, well, we had to meet them both. I'm veteran of World War II. Albert Silk is a proud soldier, but with his wife long gone. She was my life. Without a car and at 94 years old, it's harder oh. to get around. He passes the time watching the world from behind his screen door. Four walls get tiresome. Until six months ago, when Ben Kuntz moved into the apartment across the parking lot. Hey, buddy. Hi, Ben. You got a minute? Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay. Don't take too long. I only got the rest of my life. Albert first noticed Ben's license plate. I think since he's a veteran and I'm a veteran, that's why we got along so good. Ben, a Marine, served tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. We lost people in our battalion. He doesn't like to talk about it much, but it's clear combat aged him beyond his actual years. I don't know, I guess, if it matured me faster when I was 18, carrying a gun overseas. So it wasn't long. Ben, what are you doing? Before small talk turned into longer chats on the couch. Come on in. And so the pair. Well, Ben. Oh, great. <laughs> 66 years apart in age. How you been? Better than you. Became fast friends. You know, he's 90 and I have a better time hanging out with him <laughs> than I do somebody my age because they're going to talk about you know, maybe sports or complain about their job or yeah. something instead of just enjoy life and appreciate, you know, just us, just like right now, being able to talk. The kind of friends not afraid to bust each other's chops. Show me your hair. He wears a cap so he doesn't have to brush it, or comb his hair. <laughs> so last month, when Albert asked his 28-year-old neighbor for a favor. Take my 94-year-old neighbor to the bank. Hey, you like Spice Girls or Celine Dion? What type of music do you like? Oh. <laughs> ben knew Al hadn't left his apartment since March. What are we eating for dinner? Chicken. Chicken and KFC. So he made a day of it. So we're scratching off these lottery tickets. Oh, we had a whole day of just driving around being friends. Everybody we ran into, we definitely just brightened their day. That was one of the best days I ever spent in my life. I really enjoyed it and right there was the cause of it. Since then, Ben checks in on Albert every day. I was told that once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine and I never gave it any thought. That's why he's so nice because he's going to give up his life for whoever and right now it's me. <laughs> They'll even have lunch together before Ben's second shift. I get to be a nervous wreck because I don't want him to ever be late to work. And he won't be with Al keeping him in line. What have you got today to do yet to get ready for work because <laughs> no. you're way behind schedule. Ben wakes up earlier making time for his chats with Albert. Time well spent. When he hollers over at me and says, Ben, you got a minute? I always am like, I go to the gym every day, you know, it's going to be there, you know. He might not be here. So when I think of, hey, you got a minute, it's like, you know, I do. And not one of those minutes. All I can do is just say thank you, God, for the best friend in the world. Taken for granted. Well, I just want you to know one thing, that I'll always be your friend. Uh, strong today. Yeah.